Dr. Jules Cotard was a French neurologist in the 19th century. A patient called Mademoiselle X came to him and complained that she had no brain, no nerves, no chest, no stomach, and no intestines. She firmly believed that she was eternal and would live forever. She didn't see any reason to eat and ultimately died of starvation. This is the rare psychiatric disorder, Cotard syndrome, which is also known as the walking corpse syndrome. To understand Cotard syndrome, we have to understand the term delusion. A delusion is a firmly held belief which is contrary to the evidence and not shared by others in the same social, cultural, and educational background. In the case of Mademoiselle X, she firmly believed she didn't have internal organs. It was contrary to the evidence and everybody including the doctors knew her belief was false. So this belief is a delusion. Cotard syndrome is characterized by a type of delusion called delusion of nihilism. In this delusion, the patients negate or deny the existence of various things. They may negate the existence or the functions of certain body parts like brain, heart, intestines, or limbs. Then they might negate their own existence. Some of these patients think they're already dead. Others may believe they're immortal and cannot be killed. Finally, they can also negate the existence of children, parents, or even deny the existence of the whole world. The neurological basis of Cotard syndrome can be explained with theories of facial recognition. The fusiform face area of the brain is responsible for facial recognition. The amygdala is associated with emotions developed from recognizing faces. When you see the face, the fusiform area recognizes it, and the amygdala creates the emotional experience associated with seeing your face. That's how you experience a sense of self. When there's a lack of connection between these two brain areas, patients may observe his or her own face, but will not develop the associated emotions. Without these emotions, they will fail to experience a sense of self and will think they don't exist. Cotard syndrome is extremely rare, but it is encountered in patients with schizophrenia, severe depression, bipolar affective disorder, and in patients with brain injury and brain tumors. Treatment is extremely difficult. Electroconvulsive therapy and pharmacological treatments with antidepressants, antipsychotics, and mood stabilizers have been found useful as treatments. Thanks for watching it. I make animations about interesting medical cases, and I need your feedback to improve them. Please let me know what you think in the comments section. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more animations.